This is a Maxi Signal Products company, model 243011 solid state flasher. In this video, I want to wire it up and demonstrate how it functions and how it operates. And then I want to take it apart and see what's on the inside that actually makes it work. And lastly, I want to talk about the company that manufactured these. So um, I'll give a quick overview. So this is pretty much just a strobe light. It's solid state, which means there's no physical parts on the inside, no mechanical parts like relays. And generally solid state equipment is more reliable and more robust compared to relays or other physically moving parts. So this is again is a strobe light commonly found in industrial settings used as a visual indication of something happening like an alarm light or warning light or some other again indication. There's the label. You can see it runs off of 24 volts DC and consumes 1.3 amps. On the back is the wire connections and it has an orange lens here so the light that flashes is orange. This is plastic and it has a metal housing as well with some screw holes down here where you can mount it to whatever surface. It also has this gasket, which I'm not really sure why it's here. I don't know if they ever offered an accessory that you could put a clear cover over it, maybe, but I'm um, not sure. So anyways, other than that, it's a really neat piece of equipment, and I like things like this. Just fun, um, I guess, industrial equipment. So uh, there it is. Let's wire it up and see what it looks like when it flashes. So it kind of looks dim, but let me turn off this overhead light. And there you go, it looks a lot brighter now. Something I noticed, if you look at it from the side, or even the top, it's really bright, but other angles it doesn't seem as bright, so I wonder if the plastic, which it kind of looks like it, the plastic lens is molded in a way for the light to be more intense at the side or top angle. Now let's turn off the rest of the light so we can see it flashing in the dark. And there it is. You can tell it's flashing at a um, fixed rate. It's not like it's a random flash or anything. So I think there's some sort of electronic component in there that might be timing it or something like that. But yeah, that's about it with this light. It might seem boring to some people, but I like equipment like this. It's just fun to have and connect it. But uh, there you go. So we powered this up and saw how it worked. Pretty cool, I know, simple. But now let's take it apart and see what's going on. So the first thing I want to do is remove this lens here and see what type of bulb is on the inside. I have the screws removed from this lens. And here's the inside where we have an incandescent bulb. I guess in theory you could change these lenses out to other colors if you wanted. So uh, there's the bulb. It is a miniature bayonet style bulb or automotive bulb, I guess. So you can easily replace it if it ever burns out. So uh, not too much else about that. I do want to take off these screws next and see hopefully the electronics on the inside. I removed all of the screws from the actual flasher and the gasket fell off. I figured out what it's for. It actually seals the electronics on the inside from any dirt, debris, moisture, that sort of thing, which is a smart design. Here's all of the electronics. I'm not really the most educated when it comes to electronic components and how they work and whatever. I do know a little bit. Right here is the uh, timer chip. The I believe it's a 555 timer, which is in charge of flashing the uh, bulb on and off. We have some capacitors, some resistors, there's a few diodes, and then right here, um, this is actually in charge of physically flashing the light on and off. That's a transistor, and it's on this big heat sink, because I imagine it does get hot uh, switching that bulb on and off. But overall, it's a really simple but neat flasher, and again, solid state, so it's more reliable than using a relay. So. That's the inside. Let's talk about who actually made this flasher. So we saw earlier that this is a Maxi Signal Products company flasher. Um, and Maxi Signal Products seems to have been around since the 1980s, maybe the late 70s. And they offer various strobe lights, LED lights, sirens, enclosures, and other industrial equipment like that. Um, 
This particular light, I think, was made maybe sometime in the mid to late 80s, just judging by this sticker here. I could be wrong. I'm not really sure. Um, but you might have noticed where it says manufactured by Tomar Electronics, Inc., and it also says that on this lens cover. So Tomar Electronics is another manufacturer of strobe lights, sirens, LED lights, stuff like that. And Maxi Signal seems to be related to them. Most of Maxi Signal's catalog is actually just rebranded Tomar Electronics equipment, or maybe at least Tomar just makes them for Maxi Signal. But they seem very related, so really interesting. Um, I like kind of knowing the history and um, the companies that make products like this. To me, it's interesting. And both Maxi Signal products and Tomar Electronics are still in business today. That'll do it for this video all about the Maxi Signal products solid state flasher. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it was a bit simplistic, but I do have fun talking about equipment like this and showing it off from time to time. If you'd like to check out some of the other videos on my channel, I'd greatly appreciate it, and I think you'd like some of the other ones I have. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.